on something a little bit more intimate and serious and and important in this world and that is the topic of compassion here on my show one of the things that i've always like structured my um topics around or like my main focus discussions on monday coffee because monday coffee is a place of like real humanistic sharing, right? The experiences, real life things. Since my first episode, I've always shared like what's going on in my life, personal experiences, struggles, issues. And it's kind of a way for all of us to connect um, and feel less alone in the things that we experience through life. Because like I said, sharing is caring. And this is a table that everybody gets to bring their snacks to and share and feel supported and loved. So a lot of the times the topics here can be you know, heavier, more involved, deeper, not so just like surface level ideas like a lot of shows will do. Um, So I recently was kind of reflecting on a situation um, with somebody who I was talking about a past um, relationship. And we were kind of talking about how like when you're in the middle of situations that can be so raw and stressful and you know, just heavy, you tend to get caught up a lot in the negative emotions and like the anger and the animosity and just like the violentness of trying to swim through the the violent seas that dealing with a negative toxic person can carry and bring. Um, and I was kind of reflecting on my own past situations that I've gone through and how like when you're in the middle of those situations they can be so raw and painful that you sometimes most of the times allow those emotions to dictate your behavior and your reactions um, because in those moments it's really hard to respond right it's really hard to get control of your emotions in certain situations, especially when they involve people that you love and and relationships that you care about that are going sour, that you didn't ever necessarily see (laughs) going sour. And something that those situations can carry not so much of is compassion, right? And I think that just in general, we function in a world that's really lacking in compassion. And I think that there are situations where it's really valid to not feel compassionate towards people that you're interacting with and that you're involved in because there's, to be honest, there's just a lot of people out there that don't deserve that compassion, right? Their behavior, their actions, um, making sure that they are facing the accountability of said actions and choices can warrant less compassion than, you know, smoother (laughs) situations. But I was just kind of thinking about how if we garnered more compassion towards the more painful situations that we deal with with individuals, how would we fare, you know, in our own healing? And I was, you know, when you're on Facebook, you see a lot of situations and and private and personal situations play out in front of you with how people share online. And you'll see a lot of people share about the relationships that they're going through or leaving or trying to navigate. And there can be a lot of venom and there can be a lot of hate and anger and just all of the negative things just pouring out of people. And I remember going through those phases and I remember like trying to navigate those paths when I was in the middle of them. And I was thinking to myself, I wonder how much easier it would have been if I was capable of harnessing and focusing more on having compassion in the situation than allowing my raw emotions to cause me to react versus to respond. I talk about that a lot on my show. If we were able to respond in the negative situations that we're navigating versus react, I think that the situations from the start would be more positive through the whole experience and not just at the end. That can be a really difficult thing to do. 
um, and it's something that you proactively have to force yourself to practice and learn until it's something that you're capable of doing without even really thinking about it like anything else because everything is a learned trait even your behavior through situations and your behavior towards other people and the way you handle situations you're going through um, and I don't want this to be misconstrued as just being a doormat right because I also talk a lot about that I am a recovering doormat I am somebody who is a recovering people pleaser and so for me I focus on these types of traits really consistently and really um, intensely because I feel like I'm a I'm an empathetic person right I'm a very compassionate person towards others I want to help people love people um, help people see those things with them themselves and feel those positive things and there's extremes of those behaviors where you tend to sacrifice yourself people like me will sacrifice themselves for the greater good of whoever they're interacting with and that's not always a positive either you know you have to find that balance so when i was reflecting on my past situation now because um, I've, I've talked about just in the past episodes of Monday Coffee here recently talking about relationships, we're ta- talking about toxic relationships, talking about narcissists. And I reflect back on my, on my past relationships, you know, thinking about the things that I've gone through would make anybody angry, bitter, hurt. Um, but now I feel like I'm, I've, I've worked so hard to make growth in who I am. I can look at those people and have compassion. Um, and that doesn't mean like forgive and forget and, and not carry those boundaries with you when dealing with people like that. And that doesn't mean that you can't be hurt and you can't be angry. I think that all situations have seasons of processing while you go through them. But I challenge you to, once you get through the thick of it, to try and really garnish compassion when moving forward once that healing and forgiveness has been placed. I think that when we go through difficult situations with with other humans um, that hurt us, I think that a big part of that final process of healing is being able to have compassion towards why those people might be the way that they are. That doesn't mean that you have to allow, you know, any type of abuse towards you or allow those types of personalities around you. I think that boundaries are really important to protect yourself. But I personally choose to have compassion towards those people as to why they may be the way that they are, which caused them to treat me the way that they treated me, which in no way removes the hurt or the pain or justifies the behavior. But sometimes it can really help you process and heal from the behavior that was done to you. You know, I can look at my past relationship and have compassion towards that person in the environments that they grew up in and the situations that they were put in at a young age, and the fact that they didn't have guidance, the fact that they didn't have support, the fact that they didn't have good role models. You know, I can look at the big picture of of their own journey and have compassion towards maybe not being so bristled I guess, towards them and and why that they treated me the way that they treated me. Sure, it hurt. It was horrible. I shouldn't have been treated that way. Um, And they need to be accountable for the choices that they made as an adult and and how they move forward in their own life, right? You have to, are you going to be a victim of your environment and are you going to continue that type of of toxic abuse or are you going to rise above but i think that we have to have compassion towards some people not being capable of doing that on their own and if they don't have a good enough support system and environment to help pull them out of it they just kind of continue in that vein and that's really tragic you know that's really sad and so i'm i'm in a place in my life where i try to have more compassion towards that versus harboring bitterness or resentment towards the people that have hurt me in the past. You know, when I talk about my past situations with people during my one-on-one 
chats that I do with people when they want to talk to me about personal things going on in their lives and kind of sit and counsel with them and support them and talk them through these situations. Um, people can be really surprised that I that I have like one of the reoccurring emotions that and reactions that I get from people when I'm having these intimate one on one live, you know, chats with them about these types of intimate situations is they're always very surprised. I guess at this at the empathy and the sensitive nature that I have towards the people that have hurt me in the past that it's never like these people, you know, condemn, condemn, condemn. It's this person hurt me and it was really difficult to go through and it was really inexcusable. But also I have empathy towards the fact that I know that they also suffered these things. And I try to have compassion towards other people's journeys because I think that if we have a softness towards other people, it just ultimately helps us be in, in, in more inner peace within ourselves. When you harbor those negative things towards others, that they've done to you, it kind of makes you a harder person in general, which I think ultimately can make it really hard to heal through your own um, issues and your own experiences to, to get to your truth. So I think that having more compassion towards some of the situations, and I, I think that there's, of course, situations that are just really inexcusable, um, and there's some people that just, you know, don't deserve that because there are such extreme degrees in some people's personal truths and stories. But for, you know, for me personally, there's areas where if I re-reflect in them, I can look at it and go, I can have compassion towards that. I can have empathy towards that. I can look at that person and feel those things towards them in their own situation outside of what they've done to me, right? And I think that if we evaluate certain things that way for our own, for our own inner peace, that doesn't mean like go out and be like, I forgive you and this is an excuse for how you, that's not what I'm saying. I'm talking about for inner self-reflection. This doesn't mean you have to go out and like make amends with everybody and forget, you know, behaviors that people exude. And because a lot of times those people are still continuing in that toxic vein. So you need to still stay away from them. But I'm talking about when you're learning to make peace within yourself on your own healing journey. I think that being able to look at situations and having compassion and softness is a benefit to your own healing. That's all I'm saying. So there's some reflection. So that's our serious positive talk for Monday Coffee with the Doll, Monday Coffee and Compassion. <laughs> that's all That's all I'm going to say about that. But um, if you do have things that you're trying to navigate that you're having a hard time getting through and you feel alone and you feel like you need somebody to talk to and you just need some unbiased advice, I'm not a certified anything. I'm not a, a on-paper legal therapeutic person of any um, Dr. Phil degree, but I definitely am somebody who will schedule time to sit down with you if that's something that you're interested in. So if you guys are interested in sitting down with me, you guys can schedule some time. There are links below to do that, and I would be happy to sit down um, and talk about whatever it is you're going through and try to help you navigate it with my own time.